What's going on, everybody? This is Al from PlaybookGamer.com, and today we're going to look at the Western Michigan Spread Playbook in College Football 25. Now, like with most videos in this series, this is a request. I don't know much about Western Michigan. I know Lance Taylor is their coach. He came from Louisville. He was the offensive coordinator there for like a year or so before being the HC here. And this is a unique spread playbook. It's got its own uh, unique combination of concepts that I think you're really going to enjoy. So we're going to go over to formations and concepts and play times and personnel. And hopefully by the end of the video, you have a good idea of what this playbook is all about. So let's start off with formations. The bulk of the playbook is going to be shotgun. We'll talk about that last. I want to go over to pistol first. We got pistol wing and then Y off trip. So when it comes to your pistol, it's got your basic under, you know, run, play action option. Nothing too crazy here. So if you want to sprinkle some of that stuff in, you can. You go over to Y off trips. Again, it's just run, play, action with a little drop back and then a couple screens. You know, nothing too exotic, but it's in here if you need it. We have a wildcat formation. There's three plays in it. It's a whole jet sweep series, as you see right there. And then we got a split T. There are, I don't know how many playbooks have split T. I, I, maybe 10 or so. Well, if you want some of it, well, here you go, out of the gate. And it's just got your basic off tackle and a little play action on top of that. But let's talk about the shotgun. This is where everything is at. Now, this is a one-back offense in terms of this is the only uh, one-back you'll see out there in all these shotgun formations. And wing slot offsets our first formation. It's a 12 personnel look. Then you got wing flex offset weak. And then we get to our 11 personnel, normal Y off close. Then you got doubles Y off, double stack. Notice who the tight end is. That's 86, so this is still 11 personnel. Then you got spread Y slot weak. Then you get spread double flex week. And then we get into our first true four wide slash 10 personnel look, and that's trio four wide receiver strong. Then tray four wide receiver. Then we get the tray open, and now we're going back to 11 personnel. Then five wide receiver trio, which is technically a, a zero one personnel. If you want to look at actually a technically 11 personnel, you got your halfback and tight end out there. And then you got flex wide, five wide receiver tray empty quads and bunch quads open. I think that's a new formation they EA put out there about a month or so ago. So you got some empty stuff in there as well. So you got a little bit of everything in terms of your personnel. I do want to talk about some of the formations that are kind of rare in this playbook compared to some other ones. Starting off with a gun five wide receiver trio. If I can get to it. There it is. I'm, I went over it. Gun five wide receiver trio. This is a rare formation. Not a lot of playbooks have it. Uh, it doesn't make it any more special than the rest. It's got basic stuff in here. Curl flats and shallow crosses and floods. Nothing too uh, new per se, but it's a rarity if you if that matters to you. I mentioned about the bunch uh, quads open. That is not many playbooks have yet. Then we also have spread Y slot week. This is another rarity formation. You come over here, you got 15 plays, you got slot out, that's Ohio. Uh, you got a read option, you know, just more read option on top of that. Just nothing, again, nothing too crazy here. We're going to cover concepts a little bit later. And we also got wing flex slot week, if I'm not mistaken. Wing flex offset week. This is another rarity formation. Not a lot of playbooks have it. As you can see here, power, play action, and screens. And you know, again, it's your typical stuff. But I just wanted to point that out. Uh, the last one is a five wide receiver trio. And I think already uh, this one right here, I think which we already talked about. I think it was a spread double flex week. That's it. Spread double flex week. This is another rare formation. This one's got a little bit more exotic stuff. You got your pre-snap motion. You got a corner concept, a drive, and a smash. Um, when it comes to spread playbooks, a lot of the concepts are kind of like the same thing. Nothing too special or different about them compared to some other playbooks. But again, there's about six formations in this playbook that are only in this one or in like in maybe four or five other playbooks. So kind of keep that in mind. The last thing I want to talk about when it comes to your formations is I want to go back to the very beginning and I always like to look for the window dressing. As you see right here, you got a jet, you got a fake jet sweep. I'm going to go ahead and do this play action. Hopefully this will work out okay. So this is a neat little play. If you do a little jet sweep, if you want to throw that in your offense, uh, I think that's going to get picked off. He picked that one right in front of it. But you got play action, and you got your jet sweep on top of that um, in that little series. So you, what you need to do is just keep on going through here and try to find more uh, pre-snap motion. Keep on going. Let's see if we have any here. Let's see. There we go. So this normal Y off close, 
uh, has a little halfback motion. You got an angle wheel, you got a switch corner, another halfback angle. I'm gonna go ahead and select this one. Let's go up against a nickel random. So you got to come back and out underneath that. You got a little uh, triangle concept on the other side. Easy little yards here to go to the out route. Just very simple stuff. But I think that's a neat little series right there if you want to get your halfback out in a little motion a little bit. So you keep on going. Now we got more motion in here. We got a jet sweep action with these three plays. Then we got another one with another play action jet sweep on top of that. So this one's got a lot of cool pre-snap motion. So I highly suggest you check this one out. Doubles way off close. We got more. We got a more jet sweep. We got the zone. We got the jet sweep itself. And we got a vertical look on top of that. And guess what? More jet sweep stuff. So you got six of these right here, which I think is really neat. I'm going to do this vertical ones. See if I can make this look halfway decent. Looks like they're going at least cover three or nope. They may be doing... Uh, nobody's open. I'm going to have to get sacked. Yeah, that, that was just good coverage right there. But anyway, really cool little play. But you got a lot of jet sweep uh, series in this formation alone. You keep on going. Do we have any more? Let's see. Double stack. What about spread Y slot week? I think we already looked at that one. We already uh, looked at this one right here. You got drive, smash, and motion corner. This is an X pre-snap motion. So if you like a basic spread playbook with a lot of pre-snap motion, this one's going to have it for you in the spades. Uh, once you get to the more spread uh, formations, like your four and five wides, you're not going to see as much as you see here. You'll find a little bit of it. But I just want to point out, like, here's a jet sweep. Here's a wide shallow cross. I'm going to go ahead and select that one. Get a little exotic here. Looks like they're maybe going cover zero, possibly. I think I may hit this wheel. Let's see if this helps anything. Go over the top. Uh, that's a little too far. Just not a very good throw. But really cool to play. Again, a little window dressing on the right side, but it's still mesh underneath it. I think they even call it a shallow cross, but it's still mesh and drag. Let's say he's wide open right there. Just really cool stuff. I really enjoy window dressing. Anybody's watched any of my playbook videos knows I really enjoy that kind of thing. So you keep on going. Five wide receiver flex tray, empty quads, and then a bunch quads open. So you got plenty of pre-snap motion through scattered throughout there. So let's talk about the personnel. We've already hinted at some of this. 11 personnel is going to be the bulk of your playbook, like with most playbooks in this game. 23 personnel, that's your goal line. You got a wildcat. 32 is your split T and your QB kneel. 21 is just your clock management. You got a little bit of 12 wing slot offset and the weak version of that. And you got some 10 personnel, four wide receiver strong, Trey four wide receiver, those two. And you got your 01 formation, five wide receiver flex Trey along with another one, empty quads. Pretty cool. So a nice little variety for it being a spread playbook where bulk of them are just like 11 personnel. Let's talk about concepts. As you see here, there's not a lot of plays in this playbook. It's, it's a smaller playbook. But what I found interesting is if you ever notice that these play counts, normally median pass is your most popular concept group of the bunch in terms of play count. But this one's got the most deep pass stuff of any of these. So kind of keep that in mind as we go through these. So you notice, look at the run count. There's only 33 basic runs in this playbook, a very low number. You got 14 inside zones. You got a, an ISO. You got four powers, four counters. So they always kind of go together. You got six draws. When you got more draws than powers and counters, that kind of tells you you're going to be passing a lot. Two outside zones, a sweep, and a trap. So inside zone is where it's at. If you're going to do any running at all, you just kind of start here. You back out. Let's go to option. You got more option plays than runs. You got an inside or an inverted veer. You got a couple load and speed options. You got 12 reads. This is usually your most uh, common option concept. Uh, there's your two speeds. Now we got some RPOs. We got eight reads. You got five peaks and you got eight alerts. I really enjoy the alerts, especially if it's got a little out route. I just think they're a little bit easier to read, as you see right here. This one is just very easy to read. Easy five yards, not too hard right there. You just look off the corner. Um, and you got a one high look. I can look at the bubble as well. Looks like I'm going to go over here again. Get another easy five yards. Just really simple stuff right there. I think those are really fun to play around with. But so you got some RPOs. You got eight, five, and eight. And some of those are already kind of blended in to some of these concepts. So you go over here to quick pass. Look at that number, only 17. You got two Ohio's, you got 10 slants and five sticks. So slant and stick tend to go together because look, slant, stick, double slant, slants, stick, slant. Again, they always just kind of put them together at some point or another. So this is going to be the bulk of your quick passing game. You go to medium pass, you got a little, oh, about over 60 plays here. 
three choices, nine curls. If you're a curl flat guy, you got plenty of it in here. You got four double moves. You got four drives. You got five mesh. You got two pivot. You got six Salem's. You got two shakes. You got five shallows. You got three slots and you got 17 smash with two spots and a Texas. So notice a theme here. There's not a lot of anything. <laughs> you got a little bit of everything, but not a lot of one thing outside of smash, of course. You got nine curls, but you look at these other numbers. I mean, six Salem, that's still not a big number. So the bulk of your passing, your middle passing is going to be smash and it's going to be curl. So if I was you, I would stick to those two and kind of work off of those. You go to deep pass. Again, notice 85 deep passes compared to only 63 mediums. That's very rare in this game. 23 comebacks. I'm pretty sure that's the most amount of comebacks I've ever seen in a playbook in this game. And I love comebacks. They're great. They're killer against man. You got five daggers. You got one double dig. You got five double posts. 13 floods. But notice all that, some of that pre-snap motion we looked at earlier. We got 17 verticals. Really cool stuff in here. You got play action off of that. You got comebacks built into it. it it's not all just goes and posts. Let's just put it that way. You got an all go with a little drag underneath. You got a verticals Y shake. I'm going to go ahead and select that one because that just looks sexy. Let's go here and see if we can get anything going here. One-on-one -on -one situation, just a good defensive play there. Probably threw it a little too hard. But anyway, a nice variety of verticals are there for you. You got four meals. You got three Portlands. You got a handful of shot plays, eight of those. Some play actions and whatnot. And you got six switch. So notice the bulk of this is going to be verticals and flood. And that and 23 comebacks. So comeback, vertical, and flood. You just can't go wrong with some of these. I'm going to go ahead and do this vert comebacks. Let's go up against a dime. That's fine. Let's see. Looks like they're going man here. Easy catch. Oh, just really good defense by the corner. Really cool stuff, though. I like it. You know, I'm a big comeback guy, and there's more than enough in here for sure. All right, play action. It says we only got seven. We got three boots and uh, four slides, but we'll look at the play types here in a minute to get a more accurate view of that. Screens, it says we got 18. These are some of these RPOs we looked at earlier. Five bubbles. You got 12 flanker screens. These are your true play action, jailbreak screen type stuff. I'm going to go ahead and select one of these. I don't fool with these too often, to be honest. Um, you got a backside. Let's see if I can make this work. Just good defense. I probably could have went to the slant instead. Uh, but anyway, you got actually that's a high number, in my opinion, when you see that amount of flanker screens of some sort. And they're all kind of the same thing, just little wide receiver screens with like a play action built off of it, or it's RPO based. And we got one mid screen. So let's go over to the play types and talk about the passing. Let's go over to play action. So you only got 26 play action. So this isn't a very play action heavy playbook. I mean, it's in here if you need it. But this is pretty much all about drop back passing and doing draws off of that. That's kind of the way I get it. It's, it's a very pass heavy playbook spread wise, in my opinion. But you got 19 screen passes, throwing those RPOs. A lot of that's going to be in this playbook just in terms of screen is going to be a big part of that. Otherwise, you're just doing a lot of your other deeper stuff. You go to runs, 23 insides, a couple outsides, a pitch, and four, your four counters, your six draws. You got a few fullback runs, but they're from your split tees and goal line. And you got a three QB runs as well. But the bulk of this, again, you're going to keep this really simple. You'll probably just do a majority of that will be inside handoff and whatever RPOs you use. Option. You don't have many options in here. Again, it's not a very big playbook, but you got a little bit of read, speed, and lead if you need it. Then your RPOs, you got 20 plus of these, and we just looked at those earlier. So they're just, I don't know, it's just, this is a very short video. There's just not a whole lot to this playbook, but it's interesting because it's more deep than I expected. So when you go back to concepts and you go back to deep pass, this is where it's all at right here. If you want to throw deep, but if you want to keep your passing game simple, like, not use any run and shoot or bear and shoot. This will be a good one to go with because, again, you got so much comeback. You got so much flood. You got so much vertical. You got shot plays on top of that. Then you do draws with that and your basic inside handoffs. Yes, you got plenty of medium stuff in here as well, but the bulk of that's going to be your smash. Okay, again, it's just it's like it's a very simplistic spread playbook, but it's very aggressive in terms of how it likes to attack a defense. I think you'll enjoy it, and I'll talk to you later.